Clouds release their rain over the hills. Much of the rain soaks into the ground to become groundwater. Some groundwater stays underground for many years, but some escapes to the surface to form springs, which come together to make streams. As they trickle down the hillsides, the streams join together, getting bigger as they go, until they become rivers. Here in the Peak District, the trickles, springs and streams on the hillsides finally flow into the River Derwent. But the river's about to be stopped in its tracks, and so am I, by this enormous dam. This is the Derwent Dam, an extremely strong wall built across the river. It traps the water in a huge artificial lake called the reservoir. Some of the water continues downriver, but enough is stored here in this reservoir to supply people and industries in cities, towns and villages throughout the year. Further down the Derwent Valley, the Lady Bower Dam was built in the early 1940s. Before the reservoir was built, there were two villages and a school where there's now only water. If we want an endless supply of water, we must have reservoirs, but we need to be careful where they're sited. And this is Lady Bower Reservoir today. Before the water in here is ready for you and me to drink, it needs to be purified, cleaned up. It travels along pipes and is pumped to a water treatment plant. The clean water then travels to our homes, to businesses and to factories to be used. 